Taking a stand against lung cancer and honoring survivors, Lung Force Gala will be doing just that this coming Saturday. It's put on by the American Lung Association. I'll be hosting that big event in downtown over at the Biltmore. Joining me, Dr. Harmick Sukasian with, uh, from Cedar sinai And uh, Cynthia Munzer will be uh, performing. So first off, uh, this is a wonderful event. I am I'm so happy that I am part of the, uh, the, the events that you guys do every year from the Lung Force Walk to the climb over the Aon. By the way, I did the climb 15 minutes up to the top of the Aon building. I'm very excited wow. about that. Yeah. So, impressed, right? Very yeah, impressed. I only threw that out to impress you guys. <laughs> Um, but of course, we got the big gala this week. This is an exciting event. Uh, tell me what the purpose is. Um, the most important thing is for us to find a cure for lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can find a cure is through research, and research requires funding. And uh, fortunately, lung cancer is the single most underfunded cancer there is. Mm -hmm. Everything one else has much, much better research. But the funny thing is, is that lung cancer is the number one killer of women. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But it has much less funding than breast cancer. Or not that breast cancer shouldn't have funding, but my point is that lung cancer needs help. And we can do it by supporting the American Lung Association, supporting funding, and getting out there. Why are you participating? Why are you involved? Well, I am a survivor. Mm -hmm. uh, had lung cancer in uh, 2013. And um, and a survivor. That's, and I mean, that, that in and of itself is fantastic. <laughs> and what are you going to be performing? Uh, well, I'm not actually performing, but I am a singer. I'm an you opera sing. singer. Okay. With a and, and still having, singing even as a survivor. Yes, yes. I, I spent uh, years at the Met and um, and now am a professor at USC, and um, uh, just supporting it in any way I can. Well, I, and I want to I kind of want to talk about that for a second because yeah. here you are. Your life is your is your voice. Yes. And all of a sudden you have something where it's all up here. It's your lungs. It's your breath. It's your life. Tell me what the the road that you went on. <laughs> well, it's um, it's been quite a road. I I must say I was uh, on my way to New York and Italy uh, to perform and to give master classes, um, and my doctor called and said that she had seen something on the CAT scan and and I needed to come in. And I said, well, I'll call you when I get to New York. And so she said. No, you con you cancel right now and you come over. And the prognosis was lung cancer and um I mean my livelihood is my lungs. I this is this is one thing that um if I don't see that I have uh, some sort of thing wrong with me, how can other people, how can other yeah. women find out that they have lung cancer? So I'm, I'm of course supporting any screening going on, Absolutely. and um, and so I, I did have lung cancer. They they uh, said that I had to have surgery, and I said no, I don't do surgery. Uh, what are the other options, you know? And they said five years. So, so I made an there exception. There you go. There you go. <laughs> and 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 you are here, and and yeah. we are so happy, and and fighting it, fighting the good fight. And the doctors are always uh, the big rock stars at these events. Even when I go and and host these things, I always think, well, I'm here from <laughs> yes. Channel Two and Nine. But no, it really is the doctors that do the amazing work. Uh, for more information about the Lung Force Gala next weekend, uh, no, actually coming up this weekend, it's kcalnine.com. Click on Seen on TV. Absolutely a wonderful event, and and proud to be a part.